Now it's time for origins and insertions. <laughs> and we are going to start with the Iliosoas. Remember, P is silent. Now, the Iliosoas is going to originate on the iliac fossa and crest of our ilium. Now, it's also going to originate on the sacrum and along the vertebral column at T12 and L, which is lumbar, 1 through 5. Now, it's going to insert at the lesser trochanter of the femur. You see that on this model? If we turn it around a little bit, remember that's going to be the lower bump there on the femur. Now this is going to help us to flex both the thigh and the trunk as if you were going to bow. Now our second one here is going to be the sartorius, remember? Longest muscle in the body. This is going to attach at the, here's the big one, anterior superior iliac spine that is on the ilium. So anterior superior iliac spine of the ilium. And then it will be inserting at the tibia along the medial side. So you can kind of see where it attaches on the tibial tuberosity on the medial side there. Now this is going to help us to laterally rotate the thigh, abduct it, and flex. So a lot of movement with that long muscle. Rectus femoris, front and center. This is going to originate at the anterior inferior iliac spine, as well as along the acetabulum, where it's going to, kind of where all of that ligament stuff is on our hip model right here. And it will insert at the patella. So it actually attaches to our kneecap and forms a nice ligament tendon system there and attaches to the tibial tuberosity at the tibia. Now this is going to help us to extend the leg and also to flex the thigh. As we turn this puppy around, we look again at our gluteus maximus. Now the gluteus maximus is going to, as we turn everything around, Awesome. We have the gluteus maximus originating at the dorsal ilium, okay, so on the back side of our ilium along that iliac crest. It's also going to touch the sacrum and the coccyx, and it is going to insert at the gluteal tuberosity of the femur and the iliotubial tract, which is basically going to run down the side of our entire leg, so that whole lateral side there down to the tibia. So it is going to attach all the way down there. It's kind of a long one, isn't it? It's a very long one. It really one. is. And really, sometimes it's called the IT band. IT, yeah. I've heard that one before. Mm -hmm. Now this is going to help us to extend the thigh and rotate the thigh and abduct the thigh. Lots of thigh. Lots of thigh. Apparently here. Lots yeah. of movement. Yeah, it's going to have a lot of support on us. Humans have really big gluteus maximus muscles. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Now the last one we have to look at at the leg here is our biceps femoris. So this is going to begin or originate at the ischial tuberosity of the ischium. So we kind of talked about this as the, the butt bone, really. That's right, sitting on your ischium. Sitting on your ischium, as well as the linea aspera of the femur, that line that ran down the femur there. And it is going to insert at the head of the fibula and the lateral condyle of the tibia. So you can see it's just going to hit the lateral side um, of our lower leg. And this is going to help extend the thigh and flex the leg. Phew. Holy moly. I think we got one video left. I think we're almost are you guys? Done. Are you guys feeling the excitement? Let's watch another one. <laughs> Woo!